Hi, Sagittarius. It's L here to do a quick reading for you. Um, let's see what we got, what the cards have to say for you. Uh, let's see. You know, everybody's coming here for love. So let's see what your other person, how they feel about you. How does Sagittarius person feel about them? How does Sag person feel about them? Queen of Cups. All right, so Sag, your person feels like, I just saw a text message, sorry. Um, your person kind of feels like you're in your own little bubble. Maybe you're a little self-centered right now or just focusing on your own emotional uh, growth, your own spiritual growth here. You could be a teacher of some sort, maybe of the esoteric, of the spiritual world, of psychic abilities. Um, you give good advice, but you, you are not attached to the outcome here. So you're able to remain emotionally stable here. Once again, how they're viewing you is just more so focused on yourself, a healthy level of selfishness happening for you. Um, try not to come unravel or have anybody unravel you or move you from that, that comfortable space, that comfortable place, that emotional stability. Because the Queen of Cups is practicing emotional stability. The Queens are the doers and the Kings are, you know, it's already done. Um, you're on a spiritual, you could be on a spiritual journey right here, right now. Really trying to see where you fall on the spectrum, in this spectrum. What can you learn? How to enlighten yourself spiritually here. This person can see you um, very loving, but not 100% engaged in, in being over, overly emotional or being overt, showing too much emotion. Do you see this woman? She's kind of like in her own little spiritual realm, meditating. Um, she's trying to cultivate something for herself. And maybe that's how your person is seeing you. Uh, right now, your your personality is kind of hard to fathom, hard to, you feel like you, you know, you're hard to approach or get next to or get close to right now because you're so much focused on yourself. Let's see how you feel about your person, uh, Sag. How does Sag feel about that person? Ten of Pentacles. So you feel like this is it. This is it. I don't know. If you're in Atlanta, if you live in Georgia, then you understand that. Um, <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. So this person sees you as stable, a life partner. I'm sorry, this is how you see them. You see them as stable, life partner. Um, this is who you will spend the, the duration of your days with. Um, you see them as being, you see them as a long-term goal fulfillment being established with them. Uh, they can do, you can do this with them, with them on your side. You can get this accomplished. You can have this. You can have something real. There could be a legacy to be given, to be made, to be had here. Um, you see them as a uh, solid, stable. You see them as the real thing. Maybe you even see them as staying in this connection, even at times where you feel like there's nothing uh, that you guys have in common, but to actually see it through, to actually see the legacy through, the marriage through the uh, foundation through um once again seeing them as the real thing you can have you can have something with them for for lifetimes to come you know something that you'll be able to pass down um you don't want to mess that up let's see what the outcome is here for you, Sag, you and your person, the outcome, the four of swords. Interesting. So 
you guys may be taking a pause, a rest, a break, um, some time to think, maybe even heal your heart or, or listen to your heart. Make some long-term plans or goals here in terms of this connection. There might even be, you might be taking a pause from this person, a break from them, because there might be a um, question of infidelity. You don't know, but there's suspicions. So you may be taking a break. Um, just to come kind of calm your thoughts, calm your nerve, calm your heart. Just to calm the situation. What is the advice for Sagittarius? Wow, your card, the temperance card. Come back together. Heal this. Salvage this relationship because there is something to be had here. There is something to salvage. Compromise. Compromise. Give. Take a little. Turn on that charm. Um, we both have the masculine and the feminine with inside of us, within us. Uh, you need to learn when to bring out masculine, when to bring out feminine here uh, with the temperance card. There's been an issue. There's been some change. There's been a problem. There's been some dis dissension, discord, disruption to where it says that you can fix it, though, with the temperance card. The angel of balance here. You guys will come back together. I don't know. You could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Pisces and Scorpio highlighted. It could be either one of them. Um, it's on you to fix this. That's the advice here. I don't know if you messed it up. But it says, you know, you can fix this. And, and heaven is blessing you with the opportunity. Um... The opportunity, the notion, the words, the everything to come back together and fix this. I don't know if, if it'll be fixed in May. Yeah, it could be fixed in May here. Um, best advice. I think we just did best advice. Yeah. Yeah, something about lay down these burdens here. I don't know if somebody's carrying something with them here. Uh, chip on your shoulder, uh, doing too much, falling under the weight of success, maybe putting work and just being successful and having this and having that before the actual connection, not seeing why you're working so hard, but just working so hard. What are you working towards? What are you doing all of this for? Who are you doing it all for? Why are you carrying this thing? this baggage around what purpose does it serve this is you this is the other person not exactly sure this is you uh, with the ten of wands gotta lay something down also there's some secrets here you need to you just speak on those too sag i hope that this reading resonates with you if it does go over to the website book your own reading there you know what? i'll pull a few of these cards to see what's going on here too all right somebody's not telling you their true intentions i knew it there's a secret that needs to come on out just come on out with it someone could be having some financial issues so they're not focused on love yeah with this ten of wands somebody's just working so hard to get out of a rut that they aren't focused on love they aren't focused on a relationship i mean work 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 um Somebody feels like somebody's a gold digger. Again, somebody's healing from their upbringing. Or someone was dealing with a gold digger. All right, Sag. Thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you. All links are below if you want to get your own personal reading. Or if you have a question or two, you could text your question to the number below. You can always donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you, Sag. Take care.